There is an awakening of the African soul that has been in a land that has been dead for a very long time. We have art installation. We have poetry that speaks to the fact that for the first time, we're able to have a movement that speaks to our lived experiences, to our reality, that speaks of decolonization. We will change society for everybody. The world has a problem with people owning their own bodies and that transness should be heavily medicalized, that the body we've been born with is wrong. No, the society we were born in is wrong. Apartheid robbed the previous generation of dreaming wildly. And that's what we are rekindling. We are wild dreamers. These people are not poor because they don't have anything. They are poor because the, everything was taken from them. My history exists. I exist. My people exist. I think that we don't need statues at all. There are other ways of preserving history. Free quality decolonized education takes into consideration not only a colonial history, but what that colonial history has done for curriculum, what that colonial history has done for a society that has been built around that curriculum, and what that colonial history has done in terms of praxis in the state. We've come to accept that what we want is not going to be easy because we are facing institutions that were created to alienate us. Anything that goes against the status quo is decolonial in its thinking, in its practice, in its intention. We don't just want a seat at a table. We want everything because it's ours. <laughs> We hoped that as fallists we would be instituting a dramatic change that would have a long impact, lasting effect. And that lasting effect would not only challenge the classroom, not only challenge the curriculum, but would challenge every facet of society.